Hello and welcome to Angie Art. Yesterday I went into town and did a little shopping and I decided that I would try these black canvases. I've never tried one already gessoed in black, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to see if that makes life a little easier when trying to do a black painting. Now this paint here is just, it's literally table scrapings and paint, uh, black paint set. I have accumulated for different pieces that I've done. And so I'm going to use it as my base coat. Even though, oh, Nesto stinks. If anybody knows why paint starts to stink after a while, let me know. Does that mean it's actually not good? Most of the time when something stinks, it means it's not good anymore. Or is that just something that happens over time anyway, naturally? But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to spread this out, and I have chosen some colors, and I will show those to you, or tell you as I put them down what they are. I'm going to get my big paddle here. That little stick is not working. There we go. Love this thing makes life so much easier and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do a dutch pour using the colors i picked out one color i'm iffy about so i don't know if i'm gonna use it or not um i'll show you what i was looking at and the one that i am iffy about Okay, I get carried away with that. It just that little this thing makes life so much easier. Oh, I get carried away. It's just going back and forth, spreading it all out. So let me go ahead and pop some bubbles before we start. Yeah, I had fun shopping yesterday. looking around for some things that I needed to decorate for Christmas this year and um, didn't find anything so I ended up ordering online so anyway this is DecoArt metallic sapphire blue and this bottle is so dirty and nasty I apologize uh, this is artist loft light violet two of my favorite colors pebio iridescent green blue oh i didn't use the other one i think that was too low artist loft light blue deco art metallic berry i love that color and pebio iridescent precious gold so, being that it's black, I think I want to start with a lighter color first. So I think I'm going to go with the violet and then the sapphire. And this is the one I wasn't sure about, Liquitex Light Olive Green. I really like that color, but I don't know that it's really going to fit in with the other colors I chose, so I think I'm going to leave it out. Um, so I think I'm going to go Violet, Sapphire, Berry, um, let's see, maybe not, Violet, Sapphire, Green, Blue, 
light blue, berry, and gold. And I'm doing the gold last simply because there's not a lot left in the bottle. So I want to see how much I end up with on the canvas. One more time with those bubbles. Oof. Okay, so here we go. Let me grab, oh my goodness, I don't have a paper towel. Let me grab a rag. But yeah, I like things done on black, but I've just never been real successful with it. So I'm really hoping maybe this will work out. And how do I want to do this? I think I'm gonna, let's see, how's that come? Yeah, that's good. I think I'm gonna come down through here. Wow, totally missed that, didn't I? And then maybe do just a little wing down through there. A little bit more of that violet. I'm gonna try to take it easier on the others. And this is the sapphire blue. And I will just tell you, I mixed these paints, oh my gosh, months ago. Honestly, months ago. So if it doesn't work out, I'm going to blame it on the paints because they're so old. <laughs> but yeah, they have probably been in these bottles at least six months but i love the ease of using the bottles so here we go with that and now this is the light blue oh my gosh this is looking really good though so far it's really spreading out which can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. And not a lot of this berry, but I think there should be enough to do this, these two lines. Okay. Yeah, that one's giving off a little bit of an odor too. Hmm. Okay, and this is the Precious Gold by Pebio. Ooh, that is nice. That is gorgeous. I like that gold. Okay, so we've got everything on there. I'm going to torch one more time since I threw all these colors on. Debating if I want a little bit of a stream of white in there. Ah, I probably should have put it in the middle, not the very end. But I'm, I'm going to do it with the stick and just very lightly. And there I go dripping. All right, that's enough. I don't want a lot. Just enough maybe to encourage a little contrast. All right. I'm going to use my big blow dryer. I almost bought a new blow dryer yesterday because look at this. Oh my gosh, it's awful. Probably a lot of artists out there are like, uh, I wouldn't even use that thing. But you know what? It's, if I bought a new one in a couple of three weeks, it would look like this. So as long as the buttons work and it blows, I'm going to continue to use it.
shouldn't have done that. That actually looked pretty good where it was, but I have already done it. Wow, look at all the cells popping up in this thing. Oh my goodness. I actually like it. I like it. The big test is when it dries. Will it maintain these colors? Um, yeah, yeah, has some huge cells, a lot of cells right through here. Just really, really pretty. I like it. Almost think that needs to be blown out a little bit more. It's looking kind of. Okay. Yeah, and the gold did not overtake it. I, I have some gold through here and a little bit in here. It's here and there, like I would like it. Up through here. Oh, some very pretty lacing right there. Yeah, yeah. Really, really like that. The sapphire blue is gorgeous. It's also throughout. Just little touches of it here and there. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Very, very pleased. This was done, again, on a 16 by 20 Artist Loft canvas. I believe they're, what, half to 5 eighths inch thick. Um, great for trying out things before moving on to a deeper... You know a deeper more expensive canvas that's why i love these um i went by michael's i needed artist loft paint white and black and so um yeah i went ahead and picked up a couple packages of 16 by 20s that's probably my favorite size to use I'm not real great with the little dinky things. I just not. I, I like some space. I like to be able to move some paint around the canvas. I'm seeing another spot I'm not crazy about. It just looks kind of flat. that a little better otherwise I I promise I am going to leave it alone I actually have kind of a shadow effect up there and that's really neat looking um, this is softer I have some ruffly edges I like that so yeah yeah I think overall I'm very pleased with this except I do have a lot of pink up there but I'm I, I am I'm gonna leave it alone just because you don't know what might come up through there as it dries. So yeah, I just want to leave it alone, let it dry. And you know what? Thank you so much. If you stop by and watch this video, I appreciate it very much. If you liked it, please check the like box. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please check the subscription box. So have a great day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.